Today, in our mentions and tips, we are talking neuropathy. Neuropathy, and I, uh, neuropathy is becoming more and more common most of the time. You see it in men. However, recently, the last couple of years, I've been seeing a lot of women who are experiencing neuropathy. And uh, what that neuropathy is, is just a little bit of tingling, and it's actually damage to some nerves in our feet. And it, it, it tingles, feels on fire. Um, I've not experienced that. This is what I've heard from clients and patients and how they've described it to me. Um, it's quite uncomfortable and can be annoying. Uh, the definition of neuropathy is damage or dysfunction of one or more nerves that typically results in numbness, tingling, muscle weakness, and pain in the affected area. So it's not, it's not only, it, it's mostly restricted to the legs, but it can be in other places as well, but more common in the, in the lower body. Um, now what happens? What happens for this? Now, some say standing a lot, if you've stood a lot in your job, that can cause neuropathy. Uh, certain accidents or surgeries uh, in, the, in the lower back or in the spinal column uh, or, or injuries can cause neuropathy. But what is neuropathy exactly? Well, you hear me talking about mechanoreceptors, right? Well, that's part of a family. Mechanoreceptors is part of a family that lines themselves up with our senses, right? Our five senses. Now, we have what's called sensory nerves. And those sensory nerves carry messages from our five senses, our five senses rather, through our spinal cord to our brain. So anything we touch, see, smell, hear, that comes in, we sense it, right? Sensory nerves, and it brings it to our brain so our brain can unpack it and then make sense of it right? No pun intended. So what happens then is you have to have something that's from the brain that sends messages back to our limbs. So that way, if we need to move, if something's hot, we take our hand away. If we see something dangerous, we can, we can flee. So what are those nerves called? Those nerves are called motor nerves, motor nerves or mechanoreceptors. And what these guys do is they travel in the opposite direction of the sensory nerves, right? So think about your senses, you think about the five senses, we gather input and data, the brain unpacks it, and then sends information out to our mechanoreceptors, right, or our, our motor nerves, especially at the bottom of our feet. This is what we're focused on in Balance University. Neuropathy can affect those pathways, not only to add, as we get older, the synapses in our brains get further apart, which means that signals have to travel a little further. Sometimes they get lost. Uh, that's why we lose a little bit of agility. One of the reasons we lose a little bit of agility as we get older. So what do we do? Well, we do exactly what you're doing right now. Unfortunately for neuropathy, there's not any known cures. Uh, there are certain medications that you can take out there. Gabapentin, for instance. Uh, we've seen a lot of results and a lot of benefits. People with the uh, the symptoms of neuropathy calm down. Doesn't work for everyone, but it does for the vast majority. Uh, but also with the synapses in our brains, we can do what we're doing now and that's exercise. There's been lots of research that's shown that our, our synapses can realign. You have a protein in call, involved called BDNF that I'm not gonna get into deep, but I can tell you this, if you exercise, if you work on your proprioception, right? We work in proprioceptively enriched environments. We can help improve the messaging that's taking place between our uh, sensory nerves and our motor nerves, our mechanoreceptors, all right? So just a little bit of tidbit of information. There's more here. You guys, please take time to read that. And of course, I included my data, my resource sheet. I think that's important. So you guys get that information. Check it out. Uh, the more you know, I think the better off we will all be. 10,000 Americans turn 65 every day, and that population, 85 and older, is growing even faster. So let's get to it.